In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an XP leveling system in Roblox Studio. So this level system will have the XP of the player, the level of the player, and whenever the player levels up, you will be able to connect that to an event or whatever you need to. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is in Replicated Storage, we want to create a remote event. We're going to call this one Give XP, and then we're going to go ahead and create a bindable event as well. Also called Give XP, but we're going to put Give XP Bindable. All right, now we want to make a script inside of start server script service, and I'm going to call this level system. So I'm going to get the replicated storage, which is going to game get service replicated storage, so that we can access our remote events. I'm going to get the player service, so game get service players, and then we need to get the event. So we'll get bindable event equals replicated storage dot give xp bindable, and then we'll get the event, the remote event, which is going to be equal rp. Uh, give XP and then we're gonna get the options for the levels. So This is gonna equal a table and here. We're gonna have base level XP. So how much? XP is needed to reach the first level. I'm gonna make this uh, 1000 and then we need to get the level up curve. So So this will be this will control the curve of how much XP you need for the next level So 1.5 means that the next level will be 1.5 thousand XP and then it'll be 2.25 after that, and it'll be a quadratic function, so it'll keep on increasing in difficulty over time. All right, so now we're gonna get players.player added connect function, and then we're gonna get to the player, local leader stats, it's gonna equal instance.new folder, and then we'll parent that to the player, and then we'll change the name of it to leader stats so that it actually works for the leader stats. Okay. We'll get the level, which is going to equal instance.new number value, which you could use an in value for this as well. We'll parent that to leader stats. We'll set level.name equal to level. And then we're going to get the XP, which is going to equal instance.new number value. Parent this to leader stats. And then we'll get XP.name is going to equal XP. And then down here, this is how I'm going to link the level up function. So go level dot changed connect function, and then we can go ahead and print e dot name leveled up. So this is so if you have a different way of storing data or you know a different leader stats thing, you just want to put that into wherever your script is for leader stats or data or whatever it is. Uh, the reason I did this is because it's a lot easier to know whenever the level has changed or the player has leveled up. So that's why I do it like this. All right, and below this, we're gonna make a function called get quad num. So this function is how we are going to get the requirements for each level. We're gonna need the base, the curve, and the amount. And we're gonna return base times parentheses math.power. Then we're gonna put in the curve and then the amount minus one. I'll put up like an image on screen of what this will look like. So it's like a graph that just goes up and up and up more and more over time. Okay, the next function we're going to make is called get level, which will take an XP. This will get the level for the amount of XP that someone has. So in here, we're going to get local lev, which is going to be the level that we're keeping track of. And we'll say while true do, we'll say local required or rec. This will be the requirement for the next level. So in here, we'll say get quad num. We'll pass in options dot base level XP, options dot level up curve, and then we'll pass in lev plus one. So that is getting the required amount of XP for the next level. And then we'll say if XP is greater than or equal to the level. So if their experience, if the player's experience is greater than or equal to the required level, the required level XP, then we'll say lev plus equals one because they have enough XP. And then we'll go down here, say else break. So whenever they don't have enough XP, we'll just break out of this function. And then down here, we are going to return level. All right, now below this, I'm going to make a function called give XP, which is going to take in the player and then the XP, which is the amount that you want to give the player. And then we'll say player dot leader stats dot XP dot value plus equals XP. And then we'll say player dot leader stats dot level dot value is going to equal its level. And then we can just go ahead and copy this XP over like that and now if you want to give the player xp from another script or you know from the client or whatever 
that's what we have these events up here for. So we'll just go bindable event dot event connect function. This will take in the player and the amount. And then we'll say give XP player and amount. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the event. So event dot answer event connect function takes in the player and the amount. And we'll say give XP player and amount. So that is it for the leveling script. So I have a example uh, of how to use this. So in the storage UI, I have a test button that says give XP. And whenever you click on it, it'll fire the remote that we made in the replicate storage and give the player 250. So if you fire a remote event from the client, you do not have to put in the, the player variable. It'll automatically put that in whenever it reaches the server. So you don't have to worry about that. You just have to put in the amount that you want to give the player. All right, so I did make a little mistake here. Um, this should not be level, this should be uh, rec. So the required amount, small issue, but it should work now. So now if we get XP, we have 250. And then once we get up to a thousand, it'll level us up. It'll say in the output that we have leveled up and for the next one does the same. And then it'll do that for every level. That's it for this video. If, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys join my Roblox group and my Discord with the links in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.